Exeter's have an edge on this field. They have won three out of five test matches at St George's. It's known traditionally as low pitch. It's lucky that the home team will offer more specialist batsmen to avoid a serious loss. We had a very productive session, you know, coming up with game plans and moving forward. It's a fresh week for us, and you know, we're very excited, uh, you know, going into into Thursday into the game into Test match day. Um, you know, a lot of things that we've 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 analysed and see what we need to improve and work on. The Australian are fully aware of the difference in the pitch. But Mitchell Johnson will aim to continue with his good form. The, the pitch changed so much in uh, Centurion, but from a, a few days out to the, the morning of, so I guess just have to wait and see. It's, it's still a bit thick and thatchy, the grass, so I guess there's probably going to be a few more cuts and um, it's be a bit windy and a bit, bit of dry heat out there, so it's probably going to dry out a bit. It's probably going to break up by the end of the test. The Proteas will aim to avoid a serious loss against the visitors in front of the Energetics and George's Park crowd. Zolani Moya, SABC News, Port Elizabeth.